Salvation is in Jesus, folks. What you're looking at today is temporary because all this is going to pass away. The Bible says that the world is passing away in the lust of it. And he who does the will of God abides forever. And God's will is that you believe in Jesus. God's will is that you repent and humble yourself. God's will is that you don't go to hell, ma'am. I'm going. Well, ma'am, you don't have to go to hell. You can get right with God. Yet, people go to hell because they live in pride, sir. And because of pride, they deny Jesus, sir. And they die without salvation. And they go to hell, sir. But God knocks on your heart. God knocks on your heart. And he reaches out to you through the preaching of his word. And he says, come to him, sir. Get forgiveness of sin because there's death and there's judgment. You're going to die. And without salvation, you're going to go to hell. There's salvation in Jesus. There's no other name that we can be saved. It's only through the Lord, folks. God did send his son to die for your sin, sir. But you got to repent. You got to get right with God. You have to humble yourself, guys. Come out of the darkness of sin. God can heal that bitterness. But you got to be willing to come to Jesus and repent, folks, and turn to God. The Bible says without salvation, you are condemned. That he who believes in the Son, they have everlasting life. But he who does not believe will not see life, the Bible says. But the wrath of God abides on them. God, because of sin, the wrath of God abides upon the people of this world. And God sent his Son to die for sin, sir. But men say, no, thank you. They say, no, thank you, Jesus. And folks, it's going to be a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. It's going to be very fearful when you die without salvation. When God reaches out to you. But America, they deny salvation, sir. America is a God-hating nation. They have Bibles in almost every motel room. They got churches on every corner of the street. They got preachers on television and the people of this nation. They live in rebellion. They are God haters and blasphemers. And when you preach God's word, they get angry and they say, no, thank you, Jesus. And that's what you're going to hear when you stand before God, ma'am. If you say, no, thank you, Jesus, today and you die without salvation, God's going to say, no, thank you. You're not coming into my kingdom. That's what Jesus is going to say. Yet you can come to God. You can see no thank you. They say no thank you, Jesus. You Sir, you're going to stand before God and you're going to go to hellfire if you don't come to the Lord. This is the message of the Bible. Yet you have to repent and come to God, folks, because judgment day is coming. There's a day that you won't be able to run from God anymore, sir. You're going to stand before him. Yeah, make sure you get right with the Lord, sir. I hope so, bro. A lot of people say that, you know. They say they're right with God, but they live in rebellion. They don't read the Bible. They don't pray. They still live in sin. You know, the Bible says that the grace of God teaches us to deny sin. You know, so we want to make sure we live holy because God's a holy God, sir. And the Bible says narrow is the way that leads to life, and only few pe people find it. Jesus is Savior. Jesus is King. The Bible says there's only one name given amongst men that we can be saved. And that's Jesus. It's not Muhammad. It's not Buddha. It's Jesus, folks. Jesus shed his blood for your sins. Yet you have to repent and come to God. You have to humble yourself and put down the pride and say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I want to get right with you. You got to come to God and lay hold of the mercy seat of Jesus. Confess your sins, folks, because if not, you're going to hell. God wants you to understand this today. 
that you're going to stand before God and you're going to be judged for your iniquity and because you choose to deny the Savior you're going to be denied by God you're going to be denied into God's holy heaven yet you can come to God today you can humble yourselves folks this is the mercy of the Lord that he would send preachers out here to preach to you to plead with you to come to Jesus as your only way of hope sir but you got to be willing to put the alcohol down and stop being a drunkard you know the Bible says that no drunkards gonna enter into God's kingdom yeah you thumbs up the drinking sir you know you too you got to get right with God repent sir if not you're gonna go to hell repent or you're gonna go to hell folks turn to God humble yourself don't harden your heart when you hear the preaching of God's Word. Don't harden your heart in sin. Don't let the devil keep you blinded from the salvation of God. Come to Jesus, folks. Come to the Lord. The Bible says that the devil blinds the minds of people who don't believe. That's what the Bible says. He blinds them through the alcohol bottle. He blinds them through the temporal pleasures of this world. People go after drugs. They build their families. They work their jobs. And they don't give no thought about the day they're going to stand before God. The world gets a hold of their life, sir, and they die without salvation and they go to hell. That's what happens. Come to God, folks. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent because judgment day is coming. Repent because you don't have much time left. There's going to be a day that you're going to stand before Jesus, ma'am. And if you don't have salvation, ma'am, you're going to go to hell. Please think about your soul. God, God sent his son to die for your sin. But you have to repent. Jesus is King. Jesus is Savior. Jesus shed His blood for our sins. God sent His Son as a token of His love. But America, they deny the love of God. America chooses the alcohol bottle over the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. America goes after their own selfish desires and they follow the dictates of their own heart, young man. Don't do that. Come to Jesus. God wants you to come to Him, young man. Give your life to God because the clock is ticking down. You don't have much time left, folks. Do you hear the clock? It's, it's running out. Come to God. Humble yourself. Repent ma'am no thank you Jesus don't slap the hand of God when he's trying to reach out to you because you won't have any mercy at the judgment seat ma'am you're going to go to hell do you understand that and you're going to go to that place of torment because you reject Jesus yet God in his mercy he reaches out to these hard hearts he reaches out to you, sir. Come to Jesus. Get right with God. Get your family saved, sir. Get your family born again. You want your children to go to heaven. Don't let the devil get a hold of their life, sir. Open up a Bible and teach them what the Word of God says. Teach your children about God. Teach your children the truth of God's Word. If not, the devil is going to get a hold of them. And he's going to drag them to a devil's hell. Come to God today, repent, believe the gospel, turn to Jesus. Jesus Christ came into the world as a savior to save sinners. Yet the sinner must repent. You must come to God and turn away from your iniquity, sir. That's your only hope of salvation. If you keep denying God and you keep going your own way, sir, you're going to die in sin and you're going to go to hell. Get right with God while you still have breath in your body. Because death is coming. You're not going to live forever. God bless you, sir. Make sure you think about your soul, sir. God cares about you. Yeah, you just got to be willing to come to Him. Humble your heart. 
He can help you in your life heal that brokenness. He did it for me, sir. I'm a living testimony that Jesus is real, that Jesus does save, and uh, he took me off the streets, and now I'm serving God. And sir, if you're willing to humble yourself, God can save you too. But you got to be willing to repent, confess your sins. Say, God, I want to get right with you. Stop running from God and choosing to live in disobedience and living in sin. Stop choosing to rebel against God because judgment day is coming, folks. You're going to go to hell. That's the judgment of God. It's repent or perish. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said, repent. Also, likewise, sir, you're going to perish. That's what he said. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand.